Hey guys, today I would like to teach you a little, kind of like a flourish, and it is called the one-handed fan, and we've talked about the card fan before, with a, a tutorial on that, and if you are interesting, yeah, if you're interested in it, I'll put the the link in the description below, and make sure to check out my my channel for more YouTube videos for more magic tutorial videos and without further ado let's get started basically this is what it looks like okay take a block of cards and this is the one-handed fan okay so basically this is the one-handed fan okay and it is really simple it isn't really but it does, it does need a bit of practicing, but it won't, won't take you a long time to master in the sleight of hand, okay? So, when you're starting off, you could just feel, kind of get the feeling, and the more you practice, more, the more you can get, the wider you can get the cards to spread, okay? the wider you can get the cards to spread. Okay. Like when I if I recommend you to practice I will like I will probably grab about 20 20 cards to 25 cards maybe and do it to, and practice with these. Okay. And so basically how you're going to hold the deck is that you're going to hold it like this so you're gonna hold the deck basically with your kind of grab it with your ring finger and middle finger right here in the middle knuckle in the second knuckle okay and you're grabbing it with your thumb it's gonna you're gonna grab it like this okay and then you're gonna Use your index finger and your pinky to kind of hold on to the card as well. And then you could let go with your thumb and the pile, the portion of card should stay in your hand, which means you need to kind of put a little bit of pressure on onto this so that it stays right there. Okay, so basically you're just holding it, pinching it with your index finger and pinky, okay? And now, when you're doing the fan, this is what you're gonna do, okay? You're gonna curl your middle finger and your ring finger up and put your thumb right here. Probably a third to the side Okay, and then when you get, uh, you kind of push it with your thumb this way, okay, P push it this way, and at the same time, your index finger should let go, so now you're doing it like this, you're kind of doing this motion, okay, this motion, just, just spread it out with one hand. Okay, spread it out with one hand, spread it out, spread it out, spread it out, okay, and the back should look like this, spread it out, okay, so that's basically it. And the left hand is the same thing as well. Like the more you practice, you can get a wider fan. Okay. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Okay, just like a color change, if you want to do a color change. 
if you want to do a color change with this, it's totally fine. Okay, like this. Okay. There's a lot of things that you could be able to do with this move. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. This is it. And, oh, if you want to learn the color change, you could do a fan, and when you come close, just basically you just grab onto the cards so it changes, okay? Like this. And you can grab a card right here and then put it back. And that's basically it. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. And if you want more magic tutorial videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll re re reply to your comments as fast as I can. So here's today's video. Thank you for watching and peace.